has been a hot minute since the last time I did a products I'm loving faves style video. So today I thought I would talk about some of the beauty products that I have been using and just thinking are amazing and that basically you need to get in your life and that's it really. Uh, it's not sponsored, I just really bloody love all these things and think you will too. So I'll dive right in. I'm keeping most of them in my little Hannah Mags bag because it's so freaking cute. I'll go through the things not in the bag first though and then I can get them off my lap. First things first, I'm the realist. Yeah, I can't not do it now, it's like a disease. Um, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I bought this in Florida a couple of months ago um, in Sephora and I did think that I had basically reinvented the wheel. I was like, I've discovered fire. Nobody else knows of this palette. Nobody's seen this palette. Nobody will talk about this palette. Yeah, I was wrong. Everyone's talking about this palette. I've seen a lot of people mention this. So if you've already seen this mentioned, just know that I thought that I, I was a genius for finding this. I'm not. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, 14 color palette. Some are shimmer, some are matte, and they are incredible. Katie, can you do like some sort of like special effect zoom on incredible? Because that's how much this is incredible. And they are incredible. The colors mix so beautifully, like you touch them slightly, and they're so bold and pigmented. They're like blending very bright butter because they're so creamy. Butter's not even creamy. Cream. They're like blending cream. You're not, they're not wet though. It's dry. The colours are beautiful. I am obsessed with Verma. I wear it a lot just on, on its own. Um, Tempera makes a lovely, lovely under the brow highlight. Antique Bronze and Venetian Red are also gorgeous. And Buon Fresco is lovely in the crease. It comes with a decent sized mirror. One thing I don't love is that it doesn't have a proper shirt, it's just magnet, so this could come open in your makeup bag if you're traveling, and it's this like suede felt fabric, so you just know that this is not gonna look good in six months time, but I don't care, because it's so gorgeous. The Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush. <laughs> you would not believe how many times I tried to say that. It says on the back, Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush in sparkling Bellini and oh my god I love it. I've had this a while and it's been in my like my pile of stuff I don't use very often. I have a little tray in my wardrobe of like things to try and I hadn't been using it and the reason is because this is too bulky for me. I can't let this be in my like travel makeup bag and I don't travel a lot but often I stay at my boyfriend's house or I go for like nights away and I just have to shove everything into one little bag and this takes up too much space but as a standalone piece on your dressing table. I love it. It creates such a nice warm glow. It's perfect for this time of year. And I try to go for the top two colours and uh, quite light on that bottom one because I just want more of like a bronzy effect. But it's gorgeous and um, it's really bold. The colours blend well. I don't feel like it looks too much. I just think it's absolutely lovely. And if you see one of these, pick it up and add it to your collection. I love tan, I love to false tan. I don't agree with sunbeds or actual sunbathing. It's terrible for you. You can fake it and the thing that I use, I've been using this for years, is the Zen Tan Dark Lotion uh, Weekly Self Tan. And it's just lovely, you just put it on, you can see it immediately. It's not one of those ones that comes out after time and you don't know where you've put it and you look streaky and like you rolled around in a puddle. Um, use a mitt, for God's sakes. Because if you do it with your hands, at the end of it, you'll look like you have shit in your own hands and rubbed it together, which is not what you want. Use a mitt. My top tip for using it is have a bath and shower, exfoliate, then moisturise, wait till you've dried, and then put this on with a mitt the night before. Go to sleep in it so it's got all that time to like soak in, and then the next morning have a shower just to rinse off the excess, and you are going to look like a bronzed goddess. I'll link it below if you want it. It's bloody great. This is an oldie but goldie. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight Mineralized Skin Finish type jobby. I've tried so many highlights. Every, every other month I feel like I'm trying a new highlight and every time I come back to this one, I absolutely love it. It is soft and gentle, but it just makes you look sun-kissed and not like your cheeks and mirrors. You're just great, I just love it. A winner. Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet Liquid Lipsticks, absolute beauties. I was sent a set to my pure box and I bloody love them. I actually find liquid lipstick really hard to deal with because often they have a doe foot applicator and then if you don't quite get the lines of your lip properly, you smear it all over the place and you look like 
you've either been like snogging someone really hard or you just look like a mess basically but these have a really really nice applicator it's like a little heart shape with a little point at the top so that you can line round the the edges of your lips really well and i find the formula quite easy to work with so you can do a really light layer let it dry just for a second or two and then build it up to get whatever coverage of it that you like i just like it to be really bold and vibrant i love the orange one that's 302 the one I'm wearing now is 501, this amazing, vibrant, gorgeous pink. And then also I really like this neutral, which is 506, which is like a your lips but better, when you don't want to look like you're making effort, but really you've spent like a considerable amount of time putting on your liquid lipstick and feeling badass for it. So highly recommend the liquid lipsticks. Definitely more luxury on the end of the scale, but I think well worth it and you feel really good. For wearing them. Next up is a brand that I just love to death and that is Tarte and this is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my favourite. I go back, I, I try other ones and I always come back to it, a bit like the Soft and Gentle. I had lash extensions recently back in uh, February and I know everyone says, like people say they don't ruin your lashes, like the, late, the people that do them for you go, they don't ruin your lashes. They do, they do ruin your lashes. Um, my lashes were really like short and stubby and straight afterwards so I've been like nursing them back to health and I feel like this gets the best out of my lashes it just makes you look like you have longer fuller lashes which is what you want from mascara and also I have like a deep love for Tarte in general because every product I've tried from them I have loved they really please me a lot they're easy to get hold of in America but here I think you have to go by QVC. Quite tricky. I'll put some links below for you. Uh, but I would definitely recommend this. Not shown, but also recommend. Their primer is amazing. I also really love their blushes. They're really nice too. Loads of stuff, but particularly this one. Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil is a bloody dream. I actually had this in my drawer for ages and I thought it was rubbish. I was like, ugh, another brow pencil that feels horrible. But what I like about this one is the nib of it. So normally those ones that are like really fine pencils that you've got to draw each individual hair, they actually hurt my skin because it's like too too little. And I was using a brush, um, like a angled short brush and powder to do them. But this I think is so much better. You've got the spoolie at the end to like brush your brows into position. And then the what would you call this, the pencil, I guess. It's just the right colour for me. Obviously there's loads of colours, but this one works perfectly for me and it's easy to do and it stays on well. I'm just really happy with it. I've been using it a few weeks now and I'm really pleased. I'll definitely repurchase this. This one was sent to me to try in my PO box, but when this is done, I'm gonna get another one because I love it. Last but by no means least is a moisturiser and this is the Daily Essentials Rich Moisturising Cream from Nivea for dry and sensitive skin. I use so many face creams. Every time a face cream comes into my life, I'm excited because I can't live my life without face cream. I have really dry skin. It's so ingrained in my routine that if I don't have moisturiser on my face, I feel like not right. I feel like I can't continue with my day. It's that extreme. And I've been using the Lush Beautiful. Um, I really like the Origins one as well, but they're all so expensive. And I picked this up just in Waitrose for about three pounds. I've actually seen it on offer for two pounds now. And I was like, oh, I'll just have that as my at Liam's emergency one in case I stay there and forget to take mine. Oh my God, I love it. It's thick, it sinks in beautifully. Your makeup looks nice on it. It feels nice on your hands as well. And it's so affordable. Like this, this almost feels like a life hack. I love it so much. So I would definitely recommend giving that a little go. Alrighty, those are the beauty products I absolutely love at the moment and I really feel like you need all of those in your life. You'll feel so great. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll put loads of links below for you. Also, don't forget my book is available to pre-order so that is linked below for you. I hope you will buy that and enjoy it and I will see you all very soon for another amazing video. Thanks for watching. Bye!